guys, I hope you like diamonds. What am I saying? Of course you do. Who doesn't like diamonds? I love them. They're one of the most coveted stones in the world. Every diamond tells a story, and sometimes the bigger the diamond, the greater the story. Today, we're gonna look at the top 10 largest rough diamonds ever discovered. Coming in at number 10 is the notorious Koh-i-Noor diamond. It changed hands many times from the 13th century up until 1849, when Queen Victoria obtained it as a spoil of war after the second conflict between the Sikh Empire and the British East India Company. Prince Albert had it recut and the diamond was reduced from 186 carats to 105, and it became the crown jewel of the British royal family. It remains property of the British crown today, despite numerous requests for it to be returned to its rightful owner. It's impossible to say the value of the Koh-i-Noor diamond. Interestingly, it's been stolen, robbed, looted, and gifted, but it's never actually been sold. If you'd want to know more about the twisting history of this diamond, click right here. Coming in at number nine is one of the latest diamonds to be found. Unearthed in 2015 in Botswana, it's an 813 karat diamond known as Constellation. The Dubai firm Nemesis International purchased the constellation for a record $63 million, making the diamond worth more than $77,000 per carat. A few years after the sale and after some serious evaluation, Nemesis International unveiled the largest decolored polished diamond in history, a 313 karat emerald cut stone. Now known as Constellation One, it is one of eight stones created from the original rough. On to number eight. In the 1980s, one of the world's largest diamonds was discovered by a young girl playing outside her uncle's house in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The uncle sold it to a local diamond dealer. Then it was sold around and studied for four years while experts tried to decide how to even cut the thing. The incomparable diamond was finally unveiled in November 1984 at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, DC. It then became the largest diamond ever offered at a public auction and received the highest bid ever at the time for a single stone, $12 million. But that was lower than the seller was willing to go and the deal fell through. Then in 2002, the stone made an unlikely appearance on eBay with a starting price of 15 million. Not surprisingly, the stone remained unsold as the timer ran out. The diamond was eventually set, along with 92 other diamonds, into what would become the second most expensive necklace in the world, valued at $55 million. At number seven, we have the Lesotho legend. Weighing in at 910 carats, this stone is a D-color type 2A, making it a truly exceptional find worthy of its name. It came from the Letseng mine in the country of Lesotho in Southern Africa. That mine alone has unearthed over 60 stones in the last 15 years that are more than 100 carats. The Lesotho legend was found in January of 2018 and sold for $40 million, a price of nearly $44,000 a carat. It's still in its rough form now. Estimates place the potential yield of the stone at 10 to 30 high quality diamonds. The sixth largest diamond in the world was found in 1972 in the Domingo mine in Sierra Leone. It was named the Star of Sierra Leone, and jeweler Harry Winston purchased all 969 carats of it for $2.5 million. It was initially cut into a 143 carat emerald cut gem, but there was an internal flaw, so the diamond was recut into 17 finished diamonds. 13 of those were deemed flawless. The largest was a 54 carat pear shaped diamond that was mounted in a platinum ring with tapered baguette diamonds. Then, six Six of the diamonds were arranged like the petals of a flower and set into a brooch, also designed by Harry Winston. It was sold to an anonymous buyer for an undisclosed price, but I bet it was a lot. The Excelsior Diamond is number five on our list and was the largest diamond in the world until the discovery of the Cullinan Diamond, which I'll tell you more about later. The 995 carat stone was found in 1893 in a mine in South Africa, and because it was so large and flawless, it was hard to find a buyer. 
11 years after the discovery, the diamond was sent to a diamond expert in Amsterdam who cut it into 10 smaller diamonds. The largest weighs in at around 70 carats and is worth more than $10 million. This incredible gem became the centerpiece of a breathtaking bracelet. At number four is a diamond discovered not too long ago in 2015. The Lissetti Lorona, which means our light, was unearthed in Botswana. The following year, it was on the auction block at Sotheby's in London, but it failed to find a buyer because of its sheer size. It was 1,111 carats. It was the largest rough diamond discovered in over a century and the second largest ever. A year later, the British jeweler Graf bought the stone for a cool $53 million. This tennis ball sized diamond wasn't too big for their wallet, but it was too big for their lab equipment. So a custom scanner with brand new imaging software was built. A team of leading gemologists and master polishers used the high-tech hardware to produce the largest, highest color, highest clarity diamond ever certified by the GIA. The result, a 302.37 carat diamond that is the world's largest square emerald cut diamond. It took 18 months to create this exquisite gem, plus some 66 smaller diamonds that were also cut and polished from the original rough. Number three on our list was found in April of 2019 and comes in at 1,758 carats. It's the Suelo diamond. It was found in the Caraway mine in Botswana, the same mine that unearthed the constellation diamond. Its name means rare find in Setswana, a language spoken in Southern Africa. It's such a rare find that it caught the eye of a company you've probably heard of, Louis Vuitton. However, there's a bit of, we'll say uncertainty surrounding the stone. Its surface is pitted and covered in a very thin layer of black carbon, making it very hard to grade. You have to be very confident in your analysts and experts to buy a stone this risky, and apparently Louis Vuitton is. I'm excited to see what they do with it. At number two is the aforementioned Cullinan Diamond, a massive 3,106 carat diamond found in 1905 in a South African mine. Named for the owner of the mine, Sir Thomas Cullinan, the Cullinan Rough was just under four inches long, two inches wide and two and a half inches tall. After the discovery, Cullinan presented the large gem to King Edward VII. It was then sent to Joseph Asher, a famous diamond cutter in Amsterdam, who promptly cleaved the stone in two and then fainted, allegedly. I've fallen and I can't get up. Once he dusted himself and the diamond off, he ended up cutting it into 106 polished diamonds. The two largest of the bunch, the Cullen and one and two, weigh 530 and 317 carats and are set in the British sovereign scepter with cross and imperial state crown respectively. While the Cullinan diamond is often given credit as the largest rough diamond ever discovered, truth is another diamond tops our top 10 list. It's the Sergio, a black carbonado diamond found in 1895 in Bahia, Brazil. It weighed a gigantic 3,167 carats, just 60 carats bigger than the Cullinan. Carbonados are very rare and often resemble carbon in their natural form. The Sergio was sold for about $25,000, which in today's dollars is roughly three quarters of a million. The Sergio was then broken up into small three to six carat stones and used for diamond drills in London. Not exactly a scepter and crown, but it's honest work. Well, that was some list, the top 10 largest rough diamonds. What list would you like us to do next? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the next list. Thanks for watching.